Hello everyone, Chalty here. Today I'm in Circleville, Ohio. Circleville, Ohio has a population of 14,106 and it's known for hosting the Circleville Pumpkin Show for over 100 years. And we're gonna have a look around town here and see some trains. Check out this mural way down this way. And we do have some trains coming right now too. So here's the downtown and let's get down there to a railroad crossing. Let's see some trains. Let's start the video, son. Here we go. Downtown Circleville, Ohio, Pickaway County. Here's something interesting. Look at this. There's two panel sections of track land here that they put together. It looks like they're getting ready to replace the two main tracks at the railroad crossing right there. So they've got these sitting over here. And let's have a look. 136 pound rail. STN is the uh, manufacturer. I don't know what that stands for. I don't remember. Come let me know. It was rolled in 2018. 11 dashes. That's November. So there you go. Brand new spikes, new ties, used rail, and used plates. So we're going to be doing some work here at the crossing. Oh, we got a train coming right now, too. Eastbound train coming from that direction over there. All right, here we go. Got an eastbound train coming. Five track railroad crossing. Now oh, those flashers right there aren't working. The one closest to me. Hey, we got um, a leash unit. Oh, those lights are working. Just barely, they're real dim. I don't know if my camera even picks them up. There go, eastbound. They'll be going through Chillicothe in about a half hour or so. That second engine was a BNSF. I thought it was one of those Wells Fargo leasing engines. They look just like that. This used to be a public road right here in between these tracks. And they've got a barricade down at that end. See down there? And they've got one at this end also. So they've closed this road that goes in between the tracks. Here's a sign right there, road closed. There's a stop sign. Look at that old building. 
That's cool, that old building. Look at that. I'd like to know something about that. If anyone knows anything about that building, let me know. I know there's homeless people stay in it. But other than that, let me know. I'm on West Huston Street. And there's actually a CSX track here in town, too. Actually, it's outside of town. It's on the other side of town. The CSX line is way over that way, just on the edge of town. You might be able to see a straight line underneath the yellow railroad crossing sign. That's the CSX track right there. We got a train coming on, too. Here we go. Okay, we got a CSX train over there. Train is blowing for kind of cool to think that you saw me filming. I mean, it's possible. I'm right out in the open. There's got to be a DPU on there. It couldn't be that long pulled by one locomotive. load of coal right there look at that i hear a dpu where is it i hear it there it is dpu i see you working hard shots are actually kind of cool. You can see a lot of the train. to make it so that these cars could be counted for those of you counting. That last car is a loud one.
Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. The CSX line over there, Norfolk Southern over here. Check out this house over here. Look at that door right next to the railroad track. Be careful coming out that door. But wait, of course you know, there's always more. Got another train coming. Looks like a grain train. Here comes the grain train, comes to the crossing. Gates are getting ready to go down right now. This is a westbound. either all these cars just one locomotive it's amazing how strong those locomotives are there you go you can see the springs empty grain train Notice that they opened up Hardy's over there. They're having a grand reopening right now at Hardy's. It's right to the left of the tracks. You can just barely see it on the left, right there where that car went by, that red car. Okay, that's got the traffic all fouled up. This place gets really busy in the fall. I filmed over here when they've been busy. When they've had to dump corn on the ground, they had so much corn, they had a gigantic pile way down that way. I mean, it, it probably took up several acres. They had a gigantic amount of corn down there. They had these silos all filled up and had to put it on the ground. See my videos that I've got that show um, 
trains coming in and out of here and also the track mobiles working all right thanks for watching that's pretty cool the annual pumpkin festival draws about a hundred thousand people and it celebrates local agriculture they have all kinds of food that's flavored with pumpkin and they have a competition for the largest pumpkin and right here behind me is the world's largest pumpkin water tower is that cool or what and the railroad tracks are right behind it there you go now you know i come in peace okay here's the other side of the water tower the world's largest pumpkin water tower look at that is that cool or what And also, Circleville comprises an area of about 7.3 square miles. Almost all of it is land. Only about an eighth of a mile is water, if that. There you go. There's the pumpkin water tower, another angle. And check out this round house, a circular house. Does anyone know anything about that? I couldn't find any information on it. And the lane that goes to it um, has a cable across the lane and it says no trespassing. So I can't get any closer than this public road right here. That's cool looking. Circleville, Ohio, a circular house. But wait, once again, there's more, there always is. Check this out. Gates getting ready to go because there's a train coming down that way. Looks like a BNSF unit leading it. Double stack intermodal. This ought to be pretty good. I see you. It's like two of them. Maybe only one. I think it's only one. I can't really tell. It's way down there.
working hard, I can tell that. Now there are two of them. I was right the whole time. Check this out. They're working hard. I'm snaking around to the left. That's a sharp curve down there. Wow, that's cool looking. Kind of booking. All right, there you go. Man, that was cool. Those engines on the back were really pushing hard. That was a good video. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Had a good day here. Time for me to head home. If you got time, check out another one of my videos. I got all kinds of stuff. I got playlists of steam trains, street runners, all kinds of stuff. So check some of my other videos out. I got Big Boy. I went to Utah, Wyoming, Missouri. So I got Big Boy all over the place. All right, we'll see you later. live action pets on a warm spring day in Ohio.
this is where I'd have to switch here too. Track on the left, dead ends right before the crossing. We got a train coming. And there's a switch right there. 